take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Much like your name, address, and sometimes phone number, your deposit slips should have your account number printed on them. Look to the bottom of the slip and locate two separate strings of numbers. The first set of numbers is your routing number and the second set is your account number X research source. Take our lead. The less cash amount represents any cash you want to receive directly from the check. If you deposit a $1,000 check and want $200 back, for instance, you write $200 in the less cash section. The teller then gives you $200 and the balance of $800 is deposited into the account you indicate on the deposit slip. Take our lead. The customer is required to fill out the deposit slip before approaching the bank teller to deposit funds. If the customer uses a deposit slip in the bank, the account number will need to be written at the bottom of the slip where indicated. Let's help you make your mark. Some banks do not require a deposit slip with the check. If your bank is one of those, skip this step. Take the check and deposit slip, if required, to a teller at your bank. After depositing the check into your account, the teller should present you with a deposit receipt to save for your records. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.